Hello friends, today we shall discuss Payment Condition Index or PCI. The first step towards planning of maintenance of highways is the evaluation of the existing payment surface in terms of its physical condition as well as structural capacity. The Payment Condition Index provides a snapshot of the payment health of a road. It is measured on a scale of 0 to 100 where 100 means a newly paved road or a perfect road and many factors affect this PCI score. The Payment Condition Index is a simple, convenient and inexpensive way to monitor the condition of the surface of roads, identify maintenance and rehabilitation needs and ensure that road maintenance budgets are spent wisely. It is a statistical measure and requires manual survey of the pavement. ASTM divides the PCI into several classes as follows, but in practice, a PCI value lower than 40 is almost impassable. 85 to 100 is a good class, 70 to 85 satisfactory, 55 to 70 fair, and so on, and 25 to 40 is very poor, and these are the unacceptable levels of a road. IRC 82-2023 has categorized this PCI into six categories. 90-100 is excellent, 80-90 good, 60-80 satisfactory, 40-60 fair, and these are poor and failed condition of the road. The PCI measures two conditions of the road, the type, extent, and severity of payment surface distresses and PCI generally considers cracks and rutting as the surface, traces, surface distresses. The smoothness and ride comfort of the road that is considered in terms of road roughness either in RI or in IRI. PCI can be a very useful tool to know the current condition of the road network and also if it is measured regularly at certain time interval it can also tell us about the rate of deterioration of the road network over time. The uses of PCI are many. A PCI is used to identify immediate maintenance and rehabilitation needs of the payment, monitor payment condition over time, to develop a network preventive maintenance strategy, to develop road maintenance budgets, and also to evaluate payment materials and design. In fact, this is a very important tool in payment management systems. A PCI is developed based on visual inspection and observation, and it is also called sometimes wind shield inspection. Ideally, two persons should do the inspection together, one driving while the other takes the note, and both of them evaluate the payment as they go. Start by driving along the road section at the posted speed in one direction to evaluate the ride comfort. Then do a repeat drive through at a lower speed, approximately 10 to 15 km per hour, examining the full width of the road for defects. And here we look for the frequency and severity of a specific surface defect. These two observers should also make observations as to whether the road section is fulfilling its function or not. Data collection tools and equipment can simply simplify the task. Laptops and PDA can record and upload data very efficiently and quickly. GPS units can pinpoint locations accurately. IRC 82-2023 suggests use of bump integrator or network survey vehicle for roughness measurement and automated road survey system or NSV for surface distress and drug dump measurement. Visual survey for surface distresses and manual method of rut depth measurement using a 3 meter straight edge can be used on single and intermediate lane roads. Six type of distresses are considered in evaluation of PCI. Cracking, raveling, potholes, patching and rut depth. These are five surface distresses and along with that roughness that is riding quality either in terms of IRI or in terms of road evenness index, millimeter per kilometer or meter per kilometer. Cracking, raveling, patching, they are in percent, that is percent area cracked, percent area showing raveling, 
percent area being patched. Thread depth is in millimeter and port holes in number per kilometer or per length of the section. And severity of distress and extent of distress both are important. Cracking and percent cracking both are important. Since each type of surface distress indicates a different type of problem, some more severe and some less, each distress is given a weight to reflect its importance in a rehabilitation strategy. And the weightage given to all of these distress parameters in IRC 82-2023 are like this for IRI this is 0.4, porthole 0.16, rut depth 0.14, cracking 0.12, raveling 0.1 and patchwork 0.08. Total sum here is 1. IRC 82 has also provided a performer for recording the data of distresses. This is the change from 2 then percent cracks, percent area cracked, percent area patched, portholes in number raveling in percent, showing rut depth, drainage and shoulder conditions. Now showing bleeding and drainage, they are not considered for, for calculation of PCI, but they are also recorded as the indicator of payment condition or payment health. This is the procedure for determination of overall payment condition index. First is evaluation of distress extent evaluation of rut depth and evaluation of IRI in meter per kilometer. So these are three parameters which are considered in the calculation of PCI. Evaluation of distress extent will lead to individual indices for distress. And similarly, evaluation of rut depth will give you the index for rut depth. And IRI also gives you index for roughness. Then these three together provide weighted sum of each individual index values for termination of PCI. Now here distress extent is a parameter and this extent is estimated using this equation. Surface area of payment section affected by a distress. Now distress may be crack or may be raveling or may be other distress parameter divided by total surface area of payment section multiplied by 100. Now this is the extent of distress. And similarly, the number of potholes shall be calculated as per the procedure given here. Number of potholes is surface area of payment section affected by potholes in meter square divided by area of porthole unit. And this area is taken as 0.5 meter square. For example, if the total area of port holing in the selected road length is 0.5 meter square, then the equivalent number of port holes should be 0.5 meter square divided by 0.1, that is 5 port holes for PCI calculations. Now, once you know the extent of distress and number of port holes, then you can calculate PCI for individual distress type. PCI for cracking is given by this equation where CE is the crack extent and I told you crack extent is to be estimated from the earlier equation that is the surface area of payment section affected by crack divided by total surface area of the payment section. Similarly for raveling PCI can be estimated using this equation 52.91 into eighth power minus 0.02525 into RE. RE here is raveling extent. In the same equation, now you use the payment section affected by raveling. And for portholes, once you know the number of portholes, PN is the number of portholes, then PCI for porthole estimated from this equation. Now, these are the equations suggested in IRC 82 2023 for highways and expressways. Similar is the case for PCI for patch. Now here it is patch extent, PAE is patch extent and patch extent again by the same equation that surface area of payment section affected by the patch divided by total surface area of the payment section. For rut, it is based on rut depth in millimeter and for roughness, it is based on IRI. So these are the equations suggested in IRC 82 
for highways and similar relations are suggested for MDR, rural roads and urban roads separately. So you can refer IRC 82-2023 for equations for calculation of PCI for different distresses for MDR, rural roads or urban roads. Once you know these PCI values for individual, then I told you the weightage for different performance measures as suggested in IRC code are like this. For IRI, it is 0.4, porthole in 0.16, rut depth 0.14 and so on. And once you calculate overall PCI for the network or the section of the road, then you can decide on the maintenance strategy. What IRC suggests that if PCI rating is more than 90, it doesn't require any maintenance, only routine maintenance is sufficient. If it is more than 80 but limited to 90, preventive maintenance satisfactory, 60 to 80 and you need a renewable course and if it is 40 to 60 then it requires minor rehabilitation and as I told you below 40 is impossible and that requires major rehabilitation or sometimes reconstruction also. Few limitations of this PCI rating. The one is, the first is, it is subjective. While most people would agree on which roads are rated as excellent and which ones are rated as poor, deciding on whether a road is in fair condition or in good condition is more difficult. And being too lenient may mean that the important maintenance work is delayed and being too strict may mean spending money on fixing a problem before it really needs to be done. The second is, the, it deals with surface conditions only. Surface conditions are symptoms of underlying problems and need to be properly diagnosed. In the worst case, there can be severe distresses below the pavement with no visible signs of distress. Other testing and inspection methods like profilometer to measure smoothness or network survey vehicle for measurement of distresses can better quantify the pavement condition. Other factors such as capacity, drainage, surface width, shoulder width, horizontal and vertical alignment and geometric should also be considered in the pavement analysis. And the third is, it is only a tool. The PCI provides a broad overall measure of the state of a road network and can help prioritize specific road maintenance and rehabilitation requirements. It is not the only way to evaluate a road network and should be used in conjunction with other asset management tools. Consultants with specialized equipment can complete a more objective review of the entire road network. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you understood the concept of PCI and how it is used in the maintenance and rehabilitation strategies. If you have any question, you can write in the comment box.